This is your captain speaking. We have reached a cruising altitude of 24,000 feet and will soon be leaving German airspace. I've turned off the seatbelt and no smoking signs. Feel free to move about the cabin. We'll be arriving in London at approximately 6.15 p.m. local time. The temperature is currently 25 degrees centigrade with clear skies. I think we can expect a lovely, relaxing flight. What about your wife? Will she be joining you in England? Says Todd. For Sayara. Pardon me, I must get used to speaking English. My wife died two years ago. My condolences, Doctor. I wasn't aware. There's no mention of her demise in our files. It was not made public. There was an accident at the laboratory during an experiment. She was killed. You are familiar with my line of research? No, but it must be fascinating. Quite so. I am... I was the head of the Biological Explosives Research Team. Biological Explosives? Sounds rather outlandish, frankly. Perhaps, but also very real and very dangerous. Imagine an undetectable chemical reagent which can be injected into a living host. The reagent causes a reaction in the organism that culminates in a massive explosion that feeds on organic material. In other words, the effective range of the weapon is dictated by the amount of catalyst in the reagent and the population density at ground zero. In a city, the death toll could be tens of thousands. The speed of the reaction can be controlled with great accuracy by the chemical composition of the reagent. Human time bombs. Quite so. such a thing possible? Ah, I spent many years trying to answer that very question. Perhaps you'd care to read an article I've been preparing on the subject. It's rather fundamental, but it will give you a foundation for understanding the larger issues. I'm deeply honored. Don't mention it. I feel it is my duty to reward open-mindedness and imagination whenever the opportunity arises. You would make a fine pupil. By the way, I never thanked you. I'm sorry I doubted your competence. Apology accepted. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Yes, sir. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. Get up, laddies. We're going aboard. What's this loss? I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Keep this door locked. Come out over there! I'll know you there, come on! Look, really, we're going to catch you. It's only a matter of moments now.
so much for a lovely relaxing flight. Sleep tight, lassie. You're not going to kill her? What if she wakes up? Now look here, you. I'm not going to butcher a fellow countryman without a specific grudge. If she wakes up, she can fend for herself. If she dies, then she ain't really a Scot, so I won't feel bad. Now, go get that doctor fella and do a final sweep. Take anything that looks important. Papers, files, whiskey, whatever. Yes, sir? Something's not right. All right, let's go. But some of our men are still aboard. Listen to you crying like a wee girl. They'll have to make do, won't they? She doesn't mind on her feet.